Hello, everybody. Welcome. We're so excited that you're here with us today. And my name is Jessica Gordon, and I am director of Extreme Stars. And today we're going to share a little bit with you about some host tips, host coaching tips, right? And this is Amy Gardner, and I am the director of the Dream Catchers. So excited to be here. Yay. So we're going to get right into it, right, Amy? Yes. yes <laughs> all right. So the first things first, I'm going to give you all three tips to have a successful party. Okay. This could be a virtual party or a home party. It works for both party types or even Zoom parties. However you party, this works for any type of party. So number one thing you're going to do is, of course, get their date in your calendar book, right? That's really important to get that date in there. And once you get your date, you are going to send a host packet to them. And the host packet can be a lot of different things in it, but we definitely suggest what a catalog, a sales flyer, maybe some order forms, the host rewards, maybe you have a fun tic tac or bingo that you would like to do with your host. So include that as well. And of course, our recruiting offers. So make sure you have those things included in your host packet. And not only that, we also have some great tips on that as well. So if you're part of our team, ask your recruiter for the boards link, and we have extra great. Uh, tips on that as well if you join our boards and look under host coaching, okay? And then number two, of course, you're gonna send them a friend's request, all right? So if you are doing a home party or any way that you're partying, definitely um, connect with them virtually as well because hybrid parties are in, guys, all right? So why not use all your resources to maximize your, um, your, party, your party guests for your host, all right? And then of course, number three is contact. Contact is super important to have a successful party. And we are gonna go to Amy and she's gonna give you some pro tips on how to make that happen with contact. All right, Amy, take it away. Awesome, thanks Jessica. Okay, so first of all, when you are contacting this person, um, you want to make sure that you stay contacting them in um, whatever way um, you've been doing it all along. All right. So like, say you have been messaging back and forth through messenger, uh, Facebook messenger, then continue doing that. Or if it's been, um, text messaging, continue doing that. Um, uh, phone calls also, or even emails. All right. So you want to stay doing the same kind of contact method, um, because you know that that is where your host is going to um, reply to you, right? Okay, so you're going to send them a message. Now you're gonna make this personal. You can either write it out, um, make sure that you're having like some emojis on there because those make it more fun um, or um, do it a video, all right? Make it more personable with a video. Um, you can even send a voice message, but what you want to do, pro tip number one for this is say hello. All right. Um, introduce yourself, why you're excited about their party. Share why you love um, what you do. And you are also explaining to them the host program. All right. Um, number two, um, well, for those of you, okay, so the host program, that is what they can earn starting at $200 is the thank you gift, right? And then at $300 is when they start getting more. All right. So at $300, they can either, they can start shopping, having their own shopping spree and choosing whatever it is that they want. Plus they get that half off and then it just goes up from there. Right. Okay. So you're going to explain that to them. And number two is you're going to let them know um, what to do next. So watch for that host packet that's in the mail and explain about what is inside of it. Um, invite them to create a wish list. All right. And ask them to send it to you with the products that they want the most. This way, you know what they're working for and what um, they, um, <laughs> what, so you know what they want and you can be like, oh my gosh, you want that pressure cooker half off? We got it to at least 300, right? Um, and then remind them that they'll receive free and half price items so that they're thinking big. Okay. And ask them to think about who they want to invite and offer suggestions. All right. So we have a Frank list out there. Um, so make sure that you are looking for that. If it is in boards, like Jessica said, we have that all there for you guys. Um, and pro tip number three is to make sure that you are thanking them and reminding them that you're here to partner with them 
<laughs> every step of the way. Oh, okay. So, um, sorry, I have my children here. Okay, um, pro tip number four, provide a sample message of what they can send to their friends. All right, um, sending a personal message to each person to say how excited that they are about the party and how you'd love them to join in on the fun. Um, you'll get better responses that way. And you can you can tell them that they can always, um, they can use your words that you give them or they can make it more them, all right? But just keep it simple and fun. All right, Jessica. Awesome, and that's okay if your kids are there. <laughs> They're a big part of our business. So we want everyone to know that. So hello, kids. <laughs> All right. So another tip, Amy is absolutely right. So another tip that uh, we want to share with you all is that to help your host invite guests to the party, it's important to ask if they would like a sample post to post on their social media, or maybe it's on a private message, or maybe it's through text. So make sure that you offer that uh, for them. So if they want a sample post, we have all of those ready for you all in boards as well. <laughs> all right. And then um, our last tip for successful party are these fun tips that I want to share with you all to have a successful party. So um, you can do this in a Tic Tac or a Bingo, and we have those available to you as well in board. So be looking for that under host coaching. But um, we always recommend to at least send 40 to 60 invites, okay? And always through a personal message, all right? We really don't want to have them just click on their invite tab and invite their whole entire Facebook <laughs> Facebook friends, right? Because that will alert um, as spam. And we definitely don't want their group or their page to be shut down from the Facebook party, okay? So we recommend 40 to 60 people. And like Amy already said, a good tool to use is that Frank list, all right? And then of course, the comment on everything, all right? So when your host is commenting on everything and they're participating, it makes the party much, much more fun. And of course, they're gonna follow what their host does. So definitely encourage them to check out the party every day and make sure they're commenting and interacting with their guests, just like they would at a home party, right? <laughs> all right. And of course, we're gonna um, suggest to them to have fun and then, um, Oh yeah, this is important too. So, you know, everyone has Tupperware, right? So encourage your host and maybe even the guests to post pictures of their Tupperware that they use at home right now, right? So encourage them to post that, whether it's on a um, Facebook party page or in a group, encourage them to post their fun Tupperware uh, products too and share why they love them or what they use them for, all right? And then of course, tag their friends. So if they see somebody or one of us uh, posting something in the group or on the uh, Facebook party page, and they know their friend would absolutely love this. It would help them save time and money. Encourage them to tag their friends on that post so they can see it, all right? Or send it or copy it and send it to a private message to them. All right. And of course, we want to make sure that we're thanking our host for uh, hosting as well as her guests for joining. All right. So those are just some successful tips that we wanted to share with you all today on host coaching and how to have a successful party. And we appreciate you all joining us today. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to myself or Amy, and we'd be happy to help you all. All right, guys, have a great night. Thank you.